Today we're going to take two of my favorite design elements and make some sugar skull ladybugs. I'm working on a homemade stone that I made with gypsum cement and a silicone mold and I will link in the description to the video that shows my process of making these stones if you wanted to try it yourself. So I'm lining out the head of the ladybug and I'm giving it a coat of Liquitex gesso as a base coat and then I'm going to put white paint over that for the face of the ladybug. Now I'm going to come back to my chalk pencil and line out the wings on the back of the ladybug. So I'm just doing a straight line down the center so that I have something to work off of with the wings. I'm going to fill in that, that back end part with a different color so it's okay if I have that straight line. It's been a minute since we got sparkly so I'm going to take this dragonfly glaze and give two coats to the wings of the ladybug. Dragonfly glaze looks really awesome on top of black paint when it dries and has resin on top of it so I'm going to do two coats to make it nice and sparkly so we have that sparkle under the design on the wings. I'm also going to fill in that tail end of the ladybug with white paint so similar it kind of plays off the front with the head and then the back behind area will be white also and we'll put some design elements back there as well. Now let's start adding some colors. So I'm going to use these three colors, the Caribbean turquoise, the Concord grape, and the diva pink to make this sugar skull design. So I'm going to start out with the pink and make half of the center of a flower. So I'm going to put that middle piece is going to be pink and then I'm going to come back with a chalk pencil and line out the petals before I fill them in with turquoise paint. These designs can be as simple or as intricate as you want them to be. I recommend going on Google or on Pinterest and searching for sugar skull designs and see what comes up. Search for sugar skull art, clip art, crafts and see what you get and take ideas from that. So it can really be as detailed or as simple as you want and it's still very recognizable. I'm going to take one of my larger dotting tools with black paint and do the eyes and then I'm going to take a smaller dotting tool and do kind of the scalloped dots around each of the eyes. And I'm going to kind of bounce around because I'm letting one thing dry and working on another. So the nose, I usually flip it upside down and draw a narrow little heart. And that works for the nose and then the mouth can be just a simple smile and then you put the lines across it so it looks kind of like stitching. Really cute, simple way to do a sugar skull mouth. And I'm just going to add some other extra accents, some little purple kind of dot and drags. I'm using a disposable eyeliner brush. They're really great for any kind of fine line detail. So I'm just adding some extra flare I guess and, and building some of the purple into the design because it hasn't been used yet. On the back end of the ladybug I'm adding some extreme hologram glitter paint. It's a different kind of glitter than the dragonfly glaze. It's more coarse and a little more holographic and I'm also going to add that with a dotting tool to the eyes and then I'm going to take a paintbrush and pull the glitter from those dots towards the middle so the eyes will have a beautiful sparkle to them as well and so it just creates a different sparkle. The dragonfly glaze is very fine and the hologram glitter paint is a little bit more chunky. Now I'm going to add some of the signature sugar skull kind of swirly designs to the face of the ladybug and this doesn't have to be any particular way, just kind of swirly designs work. Mine don't match necessarily, um, just swirly designs and then I'm using a fine line pen to add some detail to the flower. I'm also going to take some of that pink paint with a dotting tool and add a little flair to the eyes on the ladybug before we move on. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm going to take my Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and we're going to create a spider web on the back end of the ladybug. And in case you don't remember how to do this from one of the previous videos, here is a quick tutorial. It's kind of like half of a sliced pie and then you make these U-shaped lines, these curved lines. It's very easy. Do it on a piece of paper to practice first. It is a little tricky with that hologram glitter paint on there. It's kind of 
kind of bumpy to write over, so that's why I picked the brush pen, because it kind of bends with the bumps. And I'm gonna come back to the hologram glitter paint and the fine line uh, disposable eyeliner brush just to give a little bit of outline to the wings and around the head, just to create a little bit of a border, but not too bright. And for the design on the wings, I kind of winged it. <laughs> no pun intended, or maybe it is intended. Um, I'm gonna make two flowers using dotting tools. So I used a larger dotting tool and then did dots around it, and I'm taking that eyeliner brush to draw the dots into the center one so it kind of creates like a petaled flower. So that's the start of it and then I'm gonna let that dry and we'll come put some colors on top of it in a minute. Once this has dried, I'm gonna come in with the turquoise paint and add some dots and kind of drag them in with the dotting tool. So the purple still shows in the background, but we're adding the turquoise paint on top of it and just dragging the dots to the middle. They don't have to match in the middle because I'm gonna put a large turquoise dot inside of the purple dot. So I just want them to meet kind of the edge of where that turquoise dot will go. And I'm gonna let those petals dry. And while they're drying, I'm gonna use a dotting tool and the pink paint to make two hearts. And then I'm gonna add some turquoise kind of swirls so like a dot and drag but it's got a curve to it so these are just I was literally winging it on the wings <laughs> I can't help it it's a big pun but that's what I was doing and you can see it doesn't exactly line up with each other and that's okay because when this gets all the swirls on it you're not really going to be able to tell so I'm just kind of adding design elements like I want with the colors I want Here comes that big turquoise dot in the middle and then when that's dry I'm going to add some pink dots for accents as well. So just bright colors are kind of the theme here and like I said it's however you want it to be. So my swirlies on the black wings are going to be with a white paint pen. So this is a Posca PC1MR and if you go in the description I've linked all of my supplies so that you can find them if you are interested in getting some for yourself. These are some of my favorite paint pens for doing any kind of writing. I write on the backs with them a lot and just kind of any sort of fine line detail, not the finest fine line <laughs> that you can get, but I really like the Posca PC1MR pens. I'm adding a little more sparkle with some of the hologram glitter paint on top of the hearts and the swirls just to give it some extra pop. Now I did this first one with paints and brushes, but you might feel more comfortable with paint pens if that's what you have. So I also had these cute little round homemade stones and I thought, oh my gosh, those would make cute ladybugs. I've never done it with the perfectly round ones. So I got out my paint pens and played around with those as well. So keep in mind, you can do this whatever works best for you, what's most comfortable. And you can see some of the different examples that I did playing with the paint, the paint pens, I did one with all spider webs on the wings. That one was fun also. So you can do whatever you want, lots of options. If you like these Sugar Skull Ladybugs, check out the videos I have on the screen right now for some other designs I think you'll really like. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care.